As the biggest film of his career explodes onto screens, Mortal Kombat star Louis Tan is thinking about boxers, the figurative boxers other people put him in as he rose from martial artist to stuntman to guest actor to, now, movie star facing the milestone of his first studio lead with his eyes firmly on the horizon. Everyone tries to put you in a box, he says, especially if you're a person of color. They feel comfortable being like, you're over here. You do these categories. No, we're artists. Why can't we do everything? In Mortal Kombat, Tan, 34, levels up from breakout turns in action series into the Badlands and Wu Assassins to anchoring Warner Bros. R-rated video game reboot now in theaters and streaming on HBO Max. As Cole Young, a new character to the franchise, Tan plays an MMA fighter who joins an interdimensional deathmatch alongside otherworldly bruisers and bloodthirsty killers. From day one we wanted an Asian lead, given so much of Mortal Kombat's stories and elements are borrowed from different Asian cultures, James Wan, who produced the project for his Atomic Monster banner with Broken Road Pictures and New Line Cinema, says in an email. It would have been criminal to not embrace this, especially since male Asian leads are still so rare in Hollywood, ones that aren't just the sidekicks or portrayed as stereotypical, emasculating jokes. Born in the UK and raised in the States, Tan grew up on the larger-than-life movie sets where his actor father and veteran stunt coordinator Philip Tan, Batman, Wild Wild West, Minority Report worked. He made his screen debut as a toddler on one of his dad's films and followed in his footsteps, training as a martial artist, then breaking into film with bit parts and stunt work. It wasn't until he decided to pursue acting at age 18 that his father warned him of the near impossible odds for Asian actors like them in the industry. He said, we're one. Five percent of the working actors. You really want to do this? Tan says over a video chat from Thailand. According to a UCLA study of the top theatrical films of 2019, Asians held just 5% of film roles, and a study of 2020 film releases found that only 5.4% of lead roles went to Asian performers. I was hard-headed. I was like, Dad, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to make it. There was a time not so long ago when he wasn't so sure. His father, who moved from Singapore to London as a child, had prepared him for the battles ahead. My mum is Caucasian, so I'm half Asian, Tan says. He dealt with a ton of racism in London because he was dating a white woman, then he dealt with a ton of racism in Hollywood, so he set me up for what was coming. Trying to break into Hollywood he'd had moments of doubt, hustling together a modest filmography of small roles, stunt gigs and TV guest spots. Larger parts, however, eluded him. At one point he considered giving up acting.